it knows a bit has, you know. I think it'll be when I'm actually there. <laughs> either in the village or maybe the first day of training. I think one of those two will be when it actually hits me. I feel prepared and everything, but I don't think it's fully sunk in. The first time I saw gymnastics on TV was the Olympics in 2000. So I was six years old and I just started gymnastics for about a year. And then I just remember thinking, yeah, I want to do that. Um, so it was a long time ago now, I'm 27, so 21 years ago, um, that is when my dream began. Yeah, growing up in a sport, I always knew that 2012 was the one that I was the right age for, and um, it's kind of a age where you're kind of considered to be peaking in the sport so I was going to be 18 and it was all going to be perfect and then to be the reserve and to be like this close was a bit heartbreaking um, but that was it I kind of shut the door on my Olympic dream just because growing up it had been 2012 or nothing so then 2016 when I had the second chance um, and then again it was kind of out of my control down to selectors um, yeah it was just heartbreaking again um, but it did also kind of plant the seed that 2012 wasn't my only shot and so then I think it has enabled me to be motivated to go again and then this time for 2019 qualifications they actually changed the rule so if you qualified you qualified your name instead of your country so that means that if you qualify your country can't switch who, the, who gets to go so that was kind of a good rule change for me and that I knew that if I did my best and I performed well enough then it was me that was going to go so it was kind of all down to me I didn't have to put it in the hands of selectors and um, I made it happen so <laughs>
and then she um, took an interview that I did and she um, spoke over it in Patois <laughs> and that was brilliant and cracked me up and I feel like I need to start practicing so I can make a real version and send it to her <laughs> but yeah it's just like people get into it and they make it fun and they make it exciting and they make me even more excited about it so yeah the Jamaican fans I feel like have that charisma that I wanted when I joined Team Jamaica and yeah it's just they're second to none. Yeah actually I hadn't really thought about it until you said it but yeah I've already seen so many comments that say we're already proud of you and that's definitely I think unique um, to not say oh we want you to come back with gold it's like we're already proud of you like you're doing us proud by having got this far. I think Jamaicans understand that the Olympic level is not an easy level to get to. So um, for them to show they're proud of me already definitely eases a bit of the pressure and makes you want to do even better. Um, I haven't spoke to Tony um, about that recently, but in past competitions and obviously sort of immediately after, um, we definitely spoke and I was like, oh, how was it? And um, she definitely spoke of some of the things that I might not get to experience, such as the opening ceremony and being with all the athletes from Jamaica and kind of getting to walk through and fly that flag. But um, yeah, she's given me a good idea of what to expect. And um, I've also done quite a few multi-sport events, so I've got a good idea, but I don't think anyone can really prepare for this one as it's going to be different from any games before. Um, I don't know that I'm mentally prepared for it because I don't really know how you can. Besides, obviously in training we don't train with a crowd. Um, but then what the girls that I do train with, we cheer for each other. So I'm hoping that when I get training with my group, um, we've got a mixed group. So it's me from Jamaica, then there's a Polish girl, a girl from Chile, um, I think a Turkish girl and a Portuguese girl. So I'm hoping as we train together and the week progresses, we can become each other's teammates and we can know each other's routines and who wants to be screamed for, who'd rather have it a bit more quiet and hopefully by the time we get to a podium training, which is when we get to do our training in the arena and we'll get get the view with no crowd, but we'll have each other's backs and we'll be able to support each other and uh, maybe even in the wider um, realm of our group as well. So that's my one group, but there's going to be four teams in that so we also have USA, so I imagine there'll be a lot of media <laughs> presence um, with obviously Simone Biles. So if there's going to be one round that's going to have the most people, I would imagine it's us, which is a good thing. <laughs> yeah, um, so we're actually not competing, we're doing a tour, so we're going to just be performing in loads of stadiums around the US and kind of like a musician would, we'll go in a tour bus to the next city and um, we just had a Zoom meeting about it the other day and it sounds like it's going to be incredible and they're kind of trying to give that pop concert vibe with lots of dancers and just um, lots of lights and all of that and um, on the Zoom meeting they reiterated that we were all sort of handpicked by the creative team and by Simone so I think if there was um, a bigger honour in the sport, I'm not sure what it is, um, so I'll take that and it's still kind of like a pinchy moment that the moment would pick me to be on this tour with her, so it's really, really cool and again, I'll get to bring Jamaica to a huge stage, so it's really, really a proud moment for me. Yeah, um, so Wonder Woman, they were looking for people to double the Amazons and there was a particular the opening scene that has a kind of bar sequence. It's, it's not on bars, but it's like, it was like giant scaffolding basically. It was 18 feet high and um, all the Amazons are like six feet tall um, and a lot of them are similar skin colour to me. So they had me come in to just set the scene up originally because I'm obviously not six foot tall being a gymnast. <laughs> I'm a tall gymnast at five foot four, but not six foot. And um, once I'd set the scene up and stuff, luckily I've got quite long arms, so I appeared taller on camera and it all just kind of worked out. And so I, I ended up actually doubling for the movie, which was amazing. Um, and then for the George Clooney one, again, they needed someone to double an actress that looked similar to me. So um, I went and did a um, audition and got the part. 
and yeah I got to be in George's movie so yeah again some more pinch me moments and that's another thing that has been really cool about staying in the sport longer I think it's just raised my profile and opened up all these doors and opportunities. Yeah, realistically, um, I'm not in with a medal chance, but I'm going to go out there and try my best, and you never know. Um, but And also, with gymnastics being a subjective sport, it's quite hard to say, I want to score this, because you never know whether they're going to be scoring a certain way, hard or soft, probably quite harsh at the Olympics. Um, so there's not too much point to kind of say, I want to score this, or I want to place here, because you just have no control of it, over it. So what I do have control over is my performances and if I can just go out there with no mistakes and put on a good show and yeah and just also I would like to progress from Tony Ann's scores or Tony Ann's performance last time so that we continue on this uphill um, performance as a country and then hopefully the next Olympics whoever comes can up one up me and then we can keep going till we are in the medals and yeah that's just what I hope is that we can keep as a country striving towards the podium, whether it's this time or in a good good few years, I'll I hope to be a small part of it.